student athletes, Ricky Pardo and Nolan Overby. Coach, do you have some opening remarks? Yeah, um, really proud of the way our guys competed. Um, you know, unfortunately, we just ran into a buzzsaw tonight. Uh, man, I was throwing three pitches uh, for strikes. Any time in the count, had a great speed variance. Didn't walk anybody. Uh, a couple of miscues they had defensively, we couldn't take advantage of. And uh, we made some adjustments there. Uh, the first third of the game, five of our outs were top spin ground balls, two Ks looking. Uh, we tried to start to go up the middle a little bit, and to our credit, our guys started barreling some balls up. Uh, then in the last third, uh, we hit some, you know, went the other way a little bit, but all the credit. On the game goes to Manor. Uh, he, that was as good a performance as we've seen all year. I think it's the first time we've been shut out. Uh, wasn't a lot of fun, uh, but I am proud of the way our guys competed. And um, now we've got a tall order. We've got to win two tomorrow. All right, and on your end, Michael, um, he had to labor a lot for you guys. He was around... One one twenty four. One one thirty six. One thirty six. And um, but he still kept you guys in the game. They didn't have any big innings, so you have to be happy with that. Uh, I I thought he got absolutely huge uh, with with men in scoring position. Uh, you know, seven walks, six strikeouts, right there. A lot of pitches. I think after three, he was already at fifty six. Um, and we talked. You know, our, our starters. We tried to get seven eight innings out of them. Uh, and when we talked, it, it was six, possibly seven. Uh, he pitched out of jams and made some big plays defensively. Uh, Ricky's catching uh, left field, and we had a couple double plays. Uh, he, he wanted to keep on pitching when he cramped up, uh, but when I went out to the mound and talked to him, uh, we didn't take any chances uh, with Mike. All right, I just want to talk a little bit about Ricky about their catch in left field. I think we call it the catch of the tournament so far. Saved a run as well. Runner was in scoring position. Is that one where right off the bat you need to have the perfect reaction? I mean, if it goes up in the air, we're expected to catch it. Um, we just got to move on and go to the next game. Right, and Nolan, um, heading into the eighth inning, I'm sure everyone knew what was going on with Adam. He had a no-hitter. What was your mindset going into that bat? Was you just want to get something started for your team? Yeah, I just want to get on base to help my team give opportunities for us to score some more runs. Or score some runs. Right, and Coach, um, you have now the quickest turnaround in the tournament. You had the night game. Now you play first game tomorrow. Uh, what adjustments do you have to make for the early start? Uh, we got to get out of here, get something to eat, be ready to roll. And if you can't get up for regionals, uh, then you probably shouldn't be playing the game. But I have a lot of confidence in our guys. We're going to see a tremendous left-hander tomorrow from Frostburg State, one of the best teams in the country. Uh, then we'll have to turn around if we're fortunate enough to beat them and win another game tomorrow night. Uh, competitors uh, look forward to these type of things, and our, our kids will come out and, and give us great effort. Any other questions for Coach or the student athletes? Coach, you have to be happy with your pen. They uh, you know, backed up Shimano pretty well, especially Garner and uh, and Nolan Potts coming out. Yeah, we we have a lot of confidence uh, in our guys. You know, Heidelberg, they swing it, and they've got a lot of le left-handed hitters um, that can hurt you. Uh, I think Grove hit the home run. That was the first one of the year. Um, you know, that's that's the way baseball goes. You never know who steps up, and uh, they had a lot of guys step up for them. Nolan, do you change your approach at all whenever a guy is, is just going through the lineup like uh, like Manor was, or, or do you just kind of go up there and take the same approach every every at-bat? I try to take the same approach every at-bat, but obviously after my first two at-bats, rollover ground balls to third base, I have to make an adjustment in my swing, so I don't try to change the approach overall, just minor adjustments in my swing when something's not going right. Any other questions? Thanks, guys. <laughs>